Step one, wake up, really gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food. Good food. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world fine? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. Does it make boosty noises yet? Not yet. We're still missing some stuff right here, I think. Yeah? I don't know how. Oh, wait, I know. It's got Bluetooth. See, Bluetooth to there. That makes the turbo go psh, 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 And then we got 850,000 horsepower. There we go. Sound good? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> well, guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I've been slacking on doing some stuff for you guys but don't worry i've been working in the background like i always do i just it's hard for me to pick up the camera as you guys know that do this like every day like it's hard to pick up the camera as you're trying to do stuff so we're going to go over a bunch of updates today on the mustang here and possibly some stuff on christian's truck and the blue truck and then oh yeah dad stole the volkswagen and went somewhere who knows where we saw we him know. We coming back into town which is cool, he's out rodding around in the V-dub. But yeah, we'll get this guy lowered down and uh, show you what I've been working on. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to... All right, so we got the car lo lowered down. Um, brief overview. The whole turbo kit's gotta be built backwards. That cold side pipe had to be built first. This has to be built second. Then we can actually make the hot side, reason why it's now Bluetooth because clearances are tight. This is tight, this is tight. The bend coming off of here is gonna be, I don't know, can you see that? The bend here, as you can see, that's gonna be a crazy bend that's gotta come off and go underneath here. But So I couldn't just build the turbo kit like you normally would because if I would've, then we would've probably ran into issues with that pipe and this pipe. Pretty much brief overview of that. All of this material is from stainless headers. Huge shout out to these guys. We got a big box sitting over there full of material from them. Uh, that is one of our sponsors and I can't, have, can't thank these guys enough for getting me this material to make this turbo kit, you know, come true. Finally. After Finally. Three, how many years? This was supposed to happen like three years ago. We slacking. But at least it's getting done now. Yeah, at least it's getting done now. Um, let me see the phone real quick. All right. I know you don't want to look at my ugly mug. So we'll go over this real quick. Got some pie cuts that I've winged. Never made pie cuts in my life. And we've just been winging it. And it's been turning out absolutely beautiful. Comes down. And wraps around that frame. And then we come out through the side here. And next what we're going to do is figure out where we're going to loft this off. And then we're going to make some more pie cuts off of this piece and build kind of like a turn up exit. So in case that the motor ever pops, we can try to get antifreeze and or water or oil out past the tire instead of under the tire and then potentially wrecking the car. Here we go. And Dustin's here to help film too. Yes, sir. <laughs> so let's get to work. Chop, chop boys. Let's go. What are we doing now, Keith? Rolling out the red carpet. Woo! Oh, almost went too far. It's a short red carpet. I know. Is the thinking cap on? I don't know. I lost that a long time ago. I just wing it. Well, this your winging it has come out pretty dang good so far. I know. The whole downpipes is just, I wung it. Wung it, winged it, dang danged it. And it came out beautiful. Yeah. I definitely think 60 is too much. 
Oh, you guys are probably looking at me like an idiot. We may just wing it again. <laughs> just cut out pie cuts until it looks good. Honestly, I think that's the best option because we're pretty good at winging it. Now we're trying to be technical, and I'm pretty sure my technical is not going to be good. If I winged it, it'd be better. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, I kind of have the idea of how I want it. I mean, I want it to be kicked up something like that. I'd have some concentration, and if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna 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 be a good day. Okay, now that the welder shut off and quiet for a second. So I got my little extension piece here. We've angle cut this here. We've made two pie cuts. And uh, I've already tacked these two together. Made our marks. We're gonna tack these two pieces to here and then we'll test fit it again and get kind of like a final product of essentially the tip. <laughs> so, just the tip. Just the tip. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm a fake it till I make it. Positive thoughts are overtaken. I got patience one day at a time. It's how you Hi, want sweetheart. Mm. Hello. Why are you here? Because my engine's back. Who says? Maybe I sold it on the way home. <laughs> then we'll buy a bigger one. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. Go find it. I just pulled in. It's probably in your truck, though. You took your truck, right? I don't know. What did I take? Oh, my God. <laughs> is this going to Is this going to be... Sounds broken. It's a Dodge. Sounds broken. Most likely, sir. I'll bet it was something nice, though. Okay, quit before you actually break it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh damn! <laughs> it's tiny. Damn! damn! <laughs> <laughs> what? I was expecting bigger. I wish too. It's kind of tiny. It's a lot that's, tinier that's than I thought. That's because it's missing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Damn. It looks tiny, tiny. So. Guys, this is the new part for Christian's S10, as we've talked about in the past. Phi 3 is gone. This is now a fully built aluminum Gen 4 6 liter. This has all the internals out of the old Volkswagen 6 liter. So the rods and pistons, uh, the trigger wheel, we're going to be using the cylinder heads, the same camshaft, all the good, good stuff, is, but is now in this aluminum Gen 4 block. Hell yeah, I'm going to make some steam this year. So this should be enough to, I don't know, possibly make 500, 550 horsepower at the flywheel. Which should That's put this... We were figuring about 550. This, should, this should put this truck probably into the 10 second range, we're hoping. And if not, we're probably going to spray a 150 shot on it. Uh, huge shout out to Gibson Performance. These guys knocked it out of the park. I... I'm excited to get this thing back up and going. We have parts on the way. Converter is already out being uh, restalled and cleaned. Transmission is here. We'll talk more on that when we actually dive into this project, start putting this motor together and put it back in the truck. Yeah. So finally, the truck's getting getting some more love. Getting getting things straightened out after the mishaps of last year. Okay, so <laughs> yep. it turns out it's going to so, go zoom. Definitely need to get this guy out of the track. Yes, Gotta all get, of us this year. Yeah, we're we're making a big attempt, especially Christian, to actually be out there racing the truck. The new these new parts are going to probably make this truck a completely different animal. I know this thing's going to be a handful for him. Well, plus it's losing weight going from the iron to aluminum block too. Yeah, it's what, a little over hundred pounds. Difference? Yeah, a little bit over hundred pounds, but. Yep. Less so weight, yeah, a lot more power. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll dive more into this at a later date, but I'm just glad that it's back. This has been like a few months, probably three or four month ordeal of yeah. waiting on this thing. So I'm just glad it's home, and we'll dive into it when it's time. It's my, it's my 
but congrats, bud. Hell yeah. <laughs> Stoked. All right, ladies and gents, we got the tip put back on. Uh, looks pretty killer. Right amount of poke, I think. I wish that this would have uh, had a little bit more pipe sticking out up here, but that's just because of my angle, I'm pretty sure. But I think overall, it looks pretty good. Okay, ladies and gents, before we finish out this video, I kind of want to do a little bit more detail on the actual downpipe here. So let's get underneath the car, so that way you guys can check it out. So what these are right here uh, are nine degree pie cuts, so four and a half on each side, up to here, and then a little straight piece, and of course we've done some clocking up here to try to get this guy kicked over, which we did, and then bring it down, and then of course out at an angle through the side exit. And the whole reason for that, and I know I explained it in the beginning of the video, but now you can kind of see better down here with the car in the air, is, you know, we have to make clearance for this coming off of here because the hot side pipe that's going to feed up to that flange has got to go right by this down pipe, and then it's going to come over here, and then I have a 45 that's going to send it up to here. I better watch what I'm doing. Up to here, and then couple little more pie cuts to go straight into this side and then this side i can't remember did i talk about the equal length stuff yeah in the beginning of the video mm -hmm. okay well anyways i'm trying to make this as equal length as possible so then this side's gonna have to do some weird stuff to try to make it the same length as that side because i can't stand how the on three kits sound Is nor there, uh, anal retentive about that yeah if you want, yeah. <laughs> so. Perfectionist. That and I just don't like how all of these sound with it so unequal. I don't like my stuff to sound like a Subaru. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, we I'm weird. I'm weird. But it's coming together. I'm really excited that we're getting this far. And I sh wish I was a lot farther, but life happens and you can only do what you can do. <sighs> I think we're gonna call it a night. I got a big day ahead of me tomorrow. I gotta tune a car down at the dyno shop where you guys have seen me uh, dyno stuff and it's Christian's daughter's birthday and helping Christian move on Sunday. So we'll pick up uh, in the next video and we should be working on the actual hot side, getting it everything tacked and then once everything's tacked, do the final weld and make a couple oil lines. Oh, and then we got to make this coolant line too. This is going to be an interesting one, but we'll talk about that in the next video. So with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to keep it crazy and never lift. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys later. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Everybody in the world's fine. Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign.